Hi. Welcome to my laundry room slash studio. Today on a day in the life of a man-child, your favorite man-child is going to build himself a little mini pedal board. I've, my pedal board has been disassembled and boxed up and shipped to Killeen, Texas where Vincent DeJoya of Vagabond Audio is building me a really bomb pedal board. There'll be more on that later, but at band practice, I've basically just been plugging into the amp, which is good too, but I've been using a clip-on tuner and people are starting to talk, so let's remedy this. First off, pedal selection. Let's have a look. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. Some of you guys online have been saying that I need more pedals, but what you don't know is I live in a really tiny house. In fact, my studio is shared with my laundry room. But I've got boxes and boxes of these things, but these are just the ones I've been using lately. So we need to decide what we're going to put on this little mini board. I don't have a lot of room. We're going to start with the very the little exclusive Super Awesome Fun Pedal Experience by Shock Rock Pedals. Brandon Shock is an amazing dude, and we are going to start there. Yoink. Next up, there's a couple toys I've been wanting to play with. That one covers delay and fuzz pretty good, but we're going to go down to the Game Changer Audio Plasma Drive. Mm-hmm. For some tasty goodness, so let's take a look around. I'm not going to use any of the extra controls because it's not that big a board. Ooh. Earthquakers Astral Destiny. I really like the Afterneath, but it is currently in Texas. Hmm. Need some fun on here. Basically, just picking out pedals I've been wanting to try. So. Hmm. Synthesizer. Because I love a Proco Rat and that one's huge, Wampler has sent me the new Rat's Bane. So we are gonna yoink. And we're gonna solve that problem of people talking about bad about me, flipping me some shade. We're gonna grab Senior Polytune. So get some power going and let's get this build a booming. So I've selected the power supply. We are going to use the Sayo Envelope. It's a lithium ion battery that I've used on several boards and I paid practically nothing for this thing because I've been sitting in a music store for a thousand years and I dusted the sand off of it and <laughs> dug it up out of the back and they sold it to me for like 25 bucks. Good purchase for 25 bucks. And then we got the board. I'm a tinkerer, so I have lots of little boards lying around, but this is my favorite prototyping board, which is a Gator. And you know, it's got the carriage bolt system on the bottom, so that's gonna be rad. So, I got my patch cables, my messy ball of Velcro, some power AC cables, and a few tools, and let's get this party started. Okay, so first off, we gotta figure out where the hell we're gonna put this monstrosity. So I think we will put it right there. Hey, bad. Okay. Next up is the plasma pedal. I like to kind of plot them out a little bit, see where they're gonna sit. I should probably put my tuner there, but you know what? I don't care. Every letter sideways. Ampler in there, Rats Bane. Next time we'll do the way up the rest of me. Um, let's see here. Okay. Uh, I can enjoy the layout, so 
let's velcro them up. Weirdly enough, when you buy a uh, plasma drive, it comes with velcro on it. It's pretty cool. It's just two little pieces though. We gotta make them bigger, more beefy. The rat's nest of velcro. Backing into it. I'm sure my buddy Vincent would enjoy it. Back when I was gonna cringe when he watches this, but uh, you know what? I'm a caveman. You're lucky I can spell my name. Speaking of which, ladies and gentlemen, tomorrow's my birthday. So, wanna buy me stuff? I'm okay with that. Make cool stuff. Uh, Velcro. Get on there. Practice a little bit later today, so this is kind of weird. Beautiful. And now. That one's been used quite a bit, so it is pre Velcro. Get Velcro on boss pedals can be always an interesting experience, so let's go. Do like one big vertical piece or something. One big vertical piece. All right, we got one more to go. Senior Astro Destiny. Earthquaker Devices was one of my first staunch supporters, so I appreciate you guys. If your pedals ain't got Velcro on the back of them, you're doing it wrong. So there you have it. It's gonna be the layout. I gotta wire it up. We're back. Okay. Nasty mess of Velcro. Get out of here. Uh -oh. Now we apply the power. Got these neat little carriage bolts. Mounting system. I know this fits because I've done it before. As I always try to do, mount this thing here and here at a little bit of angle so I can get it to on switch easy. And put it all the way in there. And then I get it all the plugs. Stuff pretty easy. This board is temporary, so I don't have to worry about fixing stuff too good. Just using it at band practice because my big bad boy's coming home. Not too fond of that, so we're going to fix that. I bought synth pedals a little on the loose side, so I can't shear it up a little bit. A lot of the pedals on this board are just ones I've been wanting to mess with for a long time, so. My, one of the cool things I have is I have an EVH5153 112 combo with the EL34s in it and since I'm kind of a martial dude anyway it's uh it's perfect for me I played martials most of my life and there's a when you play with martials there's a thing called the martial rule of three 
what that is is you have three marshals if you use them live. One is the one you're using, two is the one that backs up the one you're using, and three is the one that's in the shop and they just rotate. Sorry Marshall. A little more dependable stuff. I still love you Marshall. It's okay. It's like a, like a delicate, delicate, beautiful butterfly. All right, so now we do the cables. That'll be my input. I know this isn't the greatest of order, but none of these are gonna be always on, so it doesn't matter. Tuners in. I made these myself. <laughs> they were good for tight spaces. There's not a lot of tight spaces on this guy though. So let's nestle these guys in here a little bit so that I don't have to trip over them. I like mounting the power supply on the back because I can run all the cables through and it's not a big, big mess. Not gonna be my prettiest work, but be fine. Well, I mean, tell this is a piece of advice when you make pedal boards or you're putting your stuff on a board with an actual power supply. Pull the batteries. Save you tons of trouble later. Another piece of advice: would be pull the batteries before you. Um, Oop, I got it. Come on, with Duracell. Cool thing about the Seo power supplies, I don't have to run any power. I don't have to like, run find extension cables or anything like that. It just runs that. And the battery life on it is nigh insanity, so it works out. Take me down to the streets. That's a wing song. Let's listen to more wings. Oops, I messed up. Back to drawing board. Beautiful. Okay, now we're gonna take this guy. Get that in there. Run it up here. Get past the knob. There we go. <laughs> Gotta be a little on the strategic side with the cable placement. Put here, get my output there, the easy access. Okay, so now we run the power. This is really gonna throw you internet nerds into a frenzy because I'm using a daisy chain cable. Only a few pedals here, it'll be fine. Uh oh. On his mode, Daisy Chain. They call him Tasty Pasty. He's cute, but just drives him crazy. They think he's cute in scrubs. Well, rub a dub dub, rub a dub dub dub. I got the cure.
you nail all this in the first go, you're not doing it right. Or maybe you are. I don't know. I'm being jerk. Bam, we got power. All right, so that's the board. Let's tidy everything up and go from there. Let's see into those boards, people. I've only seen a few in my life that looked perfect. If you're a musician, this is your good buddy Gaff Tape. Gaff Tape. Best stuff ever. Taping your cables down, uh, leaving a big old mess. It's tougher than duct tape. It doesn't stick quite as well, but the flip side of that is you don't leave a bunch of sticky residue, which sucks. I just like to kind of cinch cords down on edges or pull them underneath and just secure them. I mean, this is not tour ready but as they say in the south it'll make a turd. I don't know is that a south saying? Let me know in the comments below. Mm -mm -mm. Taping down the cables so they don't come loose. As far as underbellies of bare boards go, that's not bad. So we'll go over. And there it is. Quick little pedal board build. Not pretty, but it's functional. <laughs> 